press conference, Zoom press conference, um, ahead of the MTN8 second leg, scheduled to take place at FNB Stadium kickoff at 1500 hours. I'd like to welcome uh, our assistant coach, Coach uh, Fadlu Davids. Welcome, Coach. Um, coach, I think uh, if you can, before we start, um, I may I just ask everybody to please put yourself, your, your microphones on silent mode, and especially on silent, if you are using multiple devices, please ensure that you only use one uh, for asking your questions and keep the others on mute because uh, then it causes feedback which uh, disrupts the sound quality for everyone else. Thank you. Coach, uh, can you just kindly give us a, just your, your preparations going to the match on Sunday, um, having won the first leg, um, what's, the, what's the plan going into this one? What are you hoping to achieve for this game, for the upcoming second leg? Yeah, we, we approach the match uh, like a normal match, um, taking the scoreline out of the equation. Um, I think we'll make a mistake if we start the match with uh, having uh, the 3-0 uh, scoreline in our heads. Um, we know we've seen Champions League finals where teams are leading 3-0 at halftime uh, and coming back to win it. And uh, we take it as a half time, but a half time, not a normal 45 minutes. We have 90 minutes uh, to play. Uh, so we'll approach the, goal, uh, the game uh, trying to score goals. Uh, that will be our approach um, going into this one. We'll now open for questions. Please, if you have any questions for the coach, um, you may go ahead and ask. Ladies and gentlemen of the media, if you have any questions, please unmute your microphones, then proceed to ask your questions. Good day, coach. Um, just the latest on injuries. Um, uh, Gabardino Mango is ruled out. Mm, definitely not available. Uh, we still await on uh, Tyson, Lodge, and uh, Jukamanja. Uh, we'll get the final report uh, later in the day, uh, and then we'll make a decision um, to do a, f a late fitness test or not. Next question. Okay, I'll go. Um, good day, Coach. We see you here from Kai FM. Um, I do understand that you guys might have had a very um, difficult week this week, you know, uh, with Coach Zinbawa away. But um, the coaching staff that's left behind, how are you guys um, looking after maybe the mental state of the of the players you know just looking forward to, to sunday's game i know you guys are actually in the you know um controlling seats in terms of you know the score line um going to sunday's game yeah i mean i'm in constant uh, uh contact with the coach uh, three four times a day and uh, he definitely has his finger on the pulse um we know we have to approach the game not going into it complacent, not thinking already with one uh, hand in the final. No, we approach the game with this semi-final with the score 0-0. Zero, zero. If you approach the game uh, uh, really wanting to score and not immediately going to, to defend the 3-0 uh, uh, goal line, you know, that is the approach we want to take and that is how we will start the match. Next question. Uh, coach Fatlu, it's Sepon Sulinger from The Citizen. Uh, coach, looking at the scoreline and looking at the way Kisa Chiefs has been playing uh, recently, uh, do you see them as a team that can, that can turn in a 3 nil over a deficit, 3 nil deficit? You have to uh, look at the, the bigger picture, and, and the bigger picture is Kaiser Chiefs were 20 minutes with exactly the same squad uh, from, from winning the league. Uh, in the last game of the season, they lost the league. Uh, and, and that is how we approach them. We see them as exactly the same team that is competing on it. Uh, they only lost one player, George Maluleke, and 
They have exactly the same squad. Yes, a different technical team, a different uh, coach, but uh, uh, we know their strengths. We know how dangerous they can be. Uh, and especially with an experienced coach like uh, Gavin Hunt, uh, where he, he is going for goals. Uh, you know they, they can immediately uh, turn the game around. So we will definitely not go into the, the game uh, undermining Kaiser Chiefs, but really uh, knowing their strengths and preparing uh, the game as a normal game, uh, like I said, with the approach of, of the score 0-0 zero, zero and not 3-0. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Coach. How are you? Good, thank you. I'm right. Coach, I just wanted to find out uh, from coach to coach. I mean, uh, Kevin Hunt, uh, a fellow South African like you are, coach, he's got a, a bit of a plum job out of Casey Chiefs. But do you, do you feel sorry for him to some extent that, you know, he's, he's got into the club that uh, he deserves to be at because it's one of the biggest clubs and already there's that a bit of a bit of a ban, you know. Do you, do you sometimes feel sorry for him that he can't bring in players? So it's just, uh, listen, we open it and that's that. Or there's a, a bit of, you know, a brotherhood-like affair between you and him, coach? Yeah, on, on, on the one hand, uh, um, I don't think it's it's time to, to feel sorry for, for him because uh, looking at his squad he had last season, looking at the squad that he has now is definitely a, an upgrade. Uh, definitely an upgrade in terms of the quality of players they have and definitely an upgrade in terms of the squad stature uh, uh, in Kaiser Chiefs. So uh, they have a quality uh, uh, side, they have a quality squad uh, at the moment. Yes, they were not able to, to strengthen, but like I said, that, that squad... Uh, uh, got them to 20 minutes from, from winning the league. So uh, let's not undermine the quality of, of the squad. And I think that is uh, what's going around. They are quality side. They, they came close to winning the league and we expect a really, really tough game uh, uh, come Sunday. Next Coach question. Shad, uh, just, can you just give us some, some insight into you know how... how what it's been like in the technical team. I know Darian's obviously uh, around as well. You recently lost Michael Loftman as well. Um, is, has it been, you know, difficult uh, being without Coach Zinbauer um, and then just having Darian and I think Kyle as well as the analyst? Um, or, or has it been sort of easier, you know, with, with less heads or heads to butt, uh, if, if so to speak? No, it's uh, um, because the coach has put in the structures. It's uh, um, it's quite easy to to continue uh, the structures he put in. Uh, like I said, I'm in contact with him three, four times a day, um, and there's not uh, many big decisions that we make together. But uh, you know, all the structures are in place. The players know exactly uh, what to do in terms of with the ball, in terms of uh, without the ball, and uh, uh, just uh, tweaking uh, uh, game per game. It's different uh, when you play Bloomberg than Celtic playing against a three defence line and uh, playing a derby. It's completely different. But uh, uh, because the structures are in place uh, made by the coach, uh, uh, it's quite easy with him uh, constantly on the phone being connected to us. Uh, it's quite easy to, to continue. And a uh, uh, coach, um, well, obviously it's 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 a it's a it's a given that you guys are going into this game on a, a three nil, you know, upper hand. But uh, did you the the mood the mood of, of the lads has it dropped a bit, or uh, they don't need you know any motivating going into this game because well, surely uh, they 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 maybe a, a couple of players are are thinking it's a foregone conclusion. We just have to walk over to uh, to. Uh, to F and B Stadium, or, or has has it been uh, that that professionalism from the players, uh, you know, building up to this game? It's our job to to constantly remind them. Uh, it's easy, uh, maybe not on a conscious level, but on a, on an unconscious level that they uh, think it's done. Uh, but it's us as a technical team that constantly have to remind them. There's examples in the past, like I mentioned before, Champions League finals where games are, are overturned and. Uh, uh, if you analyze the first game, uh, I think it's it's mentioned uh, widely by the head coach of Kaiser Chiefs as well. Had they scored the, the goals, two goals in the first uh, 20 minutes, it, it was a different game. And uh, that is definitely a reminder for us going into this game, uh, um, not to, to be complacent, not to think the game is done, uh, but to really approach the game in a clear, structured way uh, with our plan, what we want to exploit, what we want to do with the ball. Um, and approach it like like an E zero zero, uh, and that's important for our players not to go into the match thinking that it's done and undermining, underestimating uh, the power of Kaiser Chiefs. Uh, 
uh, Coach uh, Fadli, the arrival of uh, Wade Houston right back, was that the, the plan for him when you, when you signed him? Or it just so happened that he can play in that position? Thank you. No, it um, was a clear plan uh, to sign him as this uh, attacking fullback. Um, if you're in a club where um, you have more possession than most teams uh, in your PSL matches, uh, you need your fullbacks to be able to attack. And it uh, gives us a different dimension uh, in terms of the right fullback slot. Uh, we have quality within the, uh, the squad as well. Tabi Simonyani, Abel Mabaso, who are also all competing for, for the spot. Um, so it was a clear uh, plan to, to bring in a, a, a type of profile fullback uh, with the qualities that he has. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's only the first step. He, he still has to get used to the structure, get used to what we do with the ball, wh which positionings to take up uh, in certain areas of the pitch, uh, defending as well certain structures that we have, uh, whether it's in a zonal structure, whether it's in a man-to-man -man structure in certain areas of the pitch, uh, learning, adapting and uh, um, so far, so good, uh, but uh, there's still lots of improvements uh, to be made as well. We'll take the final three questions. Just to, to jump in since no one's going, Coach. Uh, just uh, in, in terms of the injuries, I know you gave a provisional update on, on Lorch and, and Bukamanja. Has there been any progress with them and also the likes of Mango, uh, Mabasa? Um, and I think there was, was two more that, that, were, that have been out recently. Mm. Sam and Mabasa are still in, on, in term, uh, on plan, uh, you know, they're, they're still on course for their, for their rehabilitation program. I've mentioned uh, earlier with Mongo being out uh, for, the, for the derby um, and we wait uh, uh, the doctor's uh, results later on uh, this afternoon to make a decision whether the rest of the players are available for late fitness test or uh, ruled out of the derby completely. Final two questions. Hello, Coach. Hello, Coach. It's Malbonga from Devon. Uh, coach, when your team is leading like this, um, I mean, do you, do you try to keep them grounded and remind them that it's still a derby or do you just allow them to go out there and, and go for it? Uh, I mentioned it before, it's, a, it's a, an approach where we know a goal could uh, um, really um, put us in the advantage uh, uh, stage of the game. Uh, we don't take this 3-0 as an advantage because you can see the early goal, the, the, the game turns immediately on its head. Um, so we have to approach it like a normal match and uh, not, not get too excited by scoring and not get too uh, excited by conceding. Uh, we just have to be clear structured in our thinking and not, and not be uh, um, too concerned with the scoreline, but do our best in the, in the game. We know it's a derby. Derby brings out its special games and anything can happen uh, uh, in derbies. We know how unpredictable it can be. Uh, so we just have to be calm, clear, structured in our approach, uh, not go wild in terms of attack, not go wild in terms of sitting back and defending, but approach the game with a clear, structured plan, which we've devised, uh, and uh, start the game and uh, um, uh, see what the approach uh, Kaiser Chiefs comes up with. Uh, we have our approach, we have our plan, what we are doing, and uh, start the match uh, that way. Final question. Um, coach, just on, on Kevin Hunt, I, I think in the few encounters that you, you, you've had against him, I think um, out of six, I think there were three draws, but the others were always close contests. Um, in, in just in the manner that he, he, he fills his team out. And what are you expecting from uh, this particular case that she's on the given hand? Yeah, there's, there's so many different ways uh, they can play. And look at if you watch their last match, uh, they played uh, three uh, different formations within the same game, um, just with the flexibility of their players. Uh, they have uh, different qualities they have uh, um, in their squad. Uh, they are able to play many different ways, whether it's 4-3-3, uh, 4-2-3-1, uh, 4-4-2, as they have been uh, lately, or even a three defence line. Uh, we know they're coming to attack. We know they, they, they need the goals. 
Um, and uh, that's no different uh, for the way Gavin Hunt uh, sets up his teams in, in, in any match. Uh, knowing it's a special match, knowing it's a derby, uh, we can expect anything and we're prepared for anything. Thank you, Coach Fadlu. On that note, we've reached the conclusion of our press conference. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen of India, for your participation. Thank you.